Hi all, in this today's video, I will be demoing how we can connect our Facebook leads with our Salesforce instance. So in this today's video, I will be using Zapier as a third party connection. So to connect both the platforms because Facebook provide, Facebook does provide integrations, direct integrations with the, the CRMs, but uh, Facebook leads, you can directly connect with uh, Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So to connect uh, data with Salesforce Sales Cloud, I'm using Zapier in that way. So we will start with a creation of new form. So this is the the way like uh, where like you have to create your form. So you can you can name your form by typing first FB page form and the form time uh, form, form time here you have to select the form type which is of more volume means like you want to uh, approach more and more customers uh, via uh, starting this lead or form so here you have to add the intro so the form is for demo purpose and if you want to attach any lead or any image so you can do that so i'm using here a free image which i have downloaded here so that's uh, and on the right side you can see like uh, your ad how facebook will run will start coming up and you can also put some of the uh, data uh, in here description uh, about your ad Now the question part comes up. In question part, uh, this is actually the form in which you will be get, uh, gathering the client's information. As we are connecting this form with Salesforce lead object, so uh, we I will be adding like those mandatory fields in here for which you can go with the standard way or you can also add the custom questions of your choice as well. With the standard way, we will be adding this first name sorry first name last name their phone number about their company work information company name so these are the questions I will be asking and you can definitely drag and drop and reselect these based on your choice. Once it is done, so you have to provide the privacy policy link which is mandatory in, in this part and uh, you have to write uh, the name, you have to provide the link. So for demo purpose, I'm redirecting this to our website, propelguru.com. And a person can directly see our privacy policy in the website. Last will be the thank you screen. So uh, now here you can select the message, the headline, the descriptions, and what kind of actions once the user, once user submitted their form. So what kind of action you want to do them. So you can select view website if you want them to delect, uh, download any brochure or if you want uh, them to see any phone number which they can call for the business. So you can select that here. So I'm like uh, let, uh, going with the view website button and uh, I will be adding our website link again. That is done. Now, as we have already named it, so we can finish this one. And okay, so we got some question. Okay, so so you have to provide some prefill information here, like why you are gathering this information. We will contact this person. 
just a message like I type this randomly otherwise like uh, this this should be uh, meaningful like why you are asking all these informations and questions from the person so that's why like I have added and once you will click on finish Salesforce uh, like Facebook will save that so you can even search with the name you have entered first every page form and you can see like the, there will be a preview so once you will click on preview so uh, Facebook will show you like how your ad or form will look like so you can type some some of the value here and you can type your company name and next so once you will do that so it will ask for like to check the privacy policies and everything once you will click submit and that is all thanks for you are all set and now you can visit the website so you can see it will redirect the person to uh, visit the website now our part to connect this with salesforce lead object so we will be connecting this with the lead object of salesforce and in here as you can see like we will be taking some of the help uh, some of the fields of first name last name company phone number and email so now i will like create a zap in which i would like to connect my facebook lead so whenever a new lead comes up so i'm using our propel guru account and now i will be selecting Propel Guru account I have selected in here so now it will show me all the forms I have so these are the forms we have and this is the recent form I have created in here so I will be selecting this one and once I will continue so it will ask me uh, to trigger to test this trigger so is it the connection has been made or not and now yeah we found a lead so this connection has been made so once you will click continue so it will ask you like with which platform you would like to connect this form and uh, we want to go with salesforce so we are doing a new record creation whenever there is a there is a lead in facebook form continue now it will ask you the object or uh, account so i'm using my account in here to connect with this one now we have to select the object Now we have to connect the. Now we have to do the field mapping of the forms we have we created in the in FB. So last name I'm associating with last name, first name I'm associating with first name. Salutation we haven't created anything for this one. Company so we selected company name in here. Then the phone number. selected the wrong this is the actual phone number and then the email we are all set so now I will do continue and uh, Zapier will ask me to test and review so once I will do that it will show me uh, a success message or either a error message yeah so the test is successful so our Zapier and uh, Salesforce is connected and now I will retest and continue this complete zap. So once I will do that, Zapier will create a need, create a lead in my Salesforce account, which uh, I can refresh from here. I can see. Yeah, so you can see like two new records just get created with the name of Propel Guru as like I was filling in the information. And once I will open up this one. So in the details, you can see the actual information which Zapier filled in. So the phone number I have entered here, the marketing email I have entered there, company name and everything. 
so this is this is kind of the integrations uh, very easily we can do with the facebook and salesforce thank you